Hi all today we are going to learn about the bean life cycle uh, as we all know that whenever the bean uh, gets registered with this uh, container it need to follow the certain steps uh, I have listed the uh, few steps uh, which has been uh, followed while the bean gets registered with the container so whenever a container starts the spring bean needs to be instantiated based on the java or the xml bean definition it may also need to be required to perform a post initialization steps to get into the stable state and the same bean life cycle is for the spring boot applications as well so the spring framework provides the four ways of controlling the spring uh, life cycle events that is either the initializing bean or the postback uh, or the disposable bean callback interfaces or by implementing the aware interfaces of the specific behavior and the custom init and the destroy methods in the bean configuration file and at the rate post construct and the p destroy annotations so in this the drop priority will be given to the other post construct annotation this is the first step and the while the spring container checks for if there is any method annotated with other post construct then this is given as the top preference then the next preference is given to the set bean name avid interface uh, the bean name aware interface so in that a method called set bean name is present then the next priority is given to the set bean name aware after that the next pri pri priority is given to the bean class loader bean class loader aware interface and um, the method set bean name uh, set bean class loader is called and the next is the bean factory aware interface and after that the resource loader aware interface and the next is the application event publisher aware interface after that the message message source aware interface and the application context aware interface where you can set the application context into this method and the post process before initialization method is called and the post process before initialization is method is called only by implementing it uh, if you if you want to if you want to do certain initialization steps before uh, before the uh, before uh, the being gets started so this uh, way this is the place where you do some post initialization uh, post initialization before post post process before initialization so after that the next method is called the after property set method this after property set method is present in the initializing bean interface so if you want to perform any custom uh, custom init methods then you need to call the init method this init method is present in the uh, application context dot xml that is beans uh, where you define your beans in the xml file there you specify a init method called in that init method whatever the method you specify that init method is called here in this phase and the next is the post process after initialization method and after that the destroy method is called this destroy method is a disposable bean whatever the Pre, uh, whatever the disposable bean you specify here that disposable uh, bean related destroy method is called here after that if if you specify any xml related uh, in the xml beans uh, xml bean if you specify destroy method in the destroy method if you specify any custom name that next uh, destroy method is called after this if you doesn't specify any destroy method uh, in the, uh, if you doesn't specify any disposable bin if you specify that uh, destroy method then that destroy method is called and the last priority is given to the and uh, given to the pre destroy method how the uh, now now let's next move in, uh, let, let us move into the example so that you can get a clear idea how this uh, spring bean life cycle uh, will be flown So I have created a class called Spring Bean Lifecycle example. So here I have implemented all the interfaces which has been specified in the uh, diagram. So first is the initializing bin. This initializing bin consists of the after property set method. Next is the disposable bin. This consists of a destroy method. And the next is the application context aware interface. This consists of set application context method and the next is the application event publisher aware interface and this method consists of the set application event publisher whenever whenever you want to publish something then this this method is useful uh, for publishing certain events and the next is the bean name aware interface and this consists of the set bean name method and the next is the bean contact bean factory aware interface which consists of the bean uh, bean set bean factory 
and the next is the bin class loader aware interface which consists of the set bin class loader and the next is the message source aware interface which consists of the message set message source and the next is the notification publisher aware interface so consists of the set notification publisher and we should and the next is next is the load time uh, wave aware interface you can and the set load time aware interface load wave time aware interface and the last is the resource loader aware interface which consists of the set resource loader aware and the next you can see here that the first is the init method this init method is part of the application context where we specify uh, this is called as an application context dot xml or you can name it as an beans dot xml whatever the beans you want to register with the container you specify that bean definitions here so that while the spring container loads this beans dot xml or the application context in, uh, context dot xml and process all the steps which has been specified in the diagram before the bean gets com uh, fully constructed so here i have specified the bean name uh, bean id as the spring code and the name is equal to spring code as the class you can see that the fully qualified name of the class need to be specified that is the spring lifecycle examples and the init method this this init method is called as a custom init method destroy method is also called as a custom destroy method so here i have also specified the bean post process so that you can get a clear cut idea what when this bean post processor lifecycle methods will be called so as as you have already seen that uh, the init method i have specified here these two are uh, these two init method init and the destroy methods are called as part of the xml uh, definition where we specified the init and custom init and custom destroy methods so next next is called as an next destroy method is part of the disposable bean and the after property set method is part of the initializing bean and the next is the set resource loader aware so set resource loader is part of the resource loader aware interface and the set load time waiver is part of the load time waiver aware interface and the set notification publisher is part of the notification publisher aware interface and the message source is part of the message source aware interface and the set bean class loader is part of the bean class loader aware interface and the bean factory is part of the set bean factory aware interface and the set bean name is part of the bean name aware interface and the application event publisher is part of the application event publisher aware interface and set application context is part of application context aware interface so as i have already specified that uh, i have created a post bean processor example so here that implements the post bean processor which has two methods that is called the post process before initialization and the post process after initialization methods these two methods need to be implemented and the you can uh, once i run you can see that in what part of the uh, bean life cycle these both uh, post process uh, before initialization method and post process after initialization methods has been will be called so the last last is the configuration class where i have create uh, i have implemented the command line runner to show to load the application context.xml uh, so that uh, the bean definitions will be read by the container and registers the beans as part of the application context so as part of registration the what are the steps specified in the diagram the same will be followed once i run this uh, once i run this application you can see the same steps as specified in the example So here you can see that the first method first is called as an addRate post construct. So addRate post construct is called 
because it has been given the top preference by the uh, while registering the bin with the spring container so here you can see that I have specified the at the rate post constraint and at the rate pre destroy so these two methods this will be the given as the top preference while registering the bin with the spring container so the next the next method is called as specified in the diagram the set bin name method is called and next is the set bin class loader and after that the set bin factory and next is the set resource loader then the application event publisher and next is the message source and next is the application context and after that after the application context after implementing all the aware interfaces then the priority is given to the post process before initialization first first is the whatever first is given first priority is given to the post construct second priority is given to all the aware interfaces and next comes the po bean post processor that is the post process before initialization method is called then after that the initializing bean uh, implement uh, interface which contains the after property set method this is called the next the next step is the init method whatever the custom init method we specified in the beans.xml in the application context.xml file that init method is called once that init method is done once the initialization methods are done then the post process after initialization method is called once the post process after initialization is done during the shutdown of the application or whenever you call the close uh, close method on the container as you can see that the i call the context dot close during this context dot close this close application context destroys all the beans in the bean factory and delegates to do close for the actual closing procedure and also removes the jvm shutdown hook if registered if it's uh, not needed anymore you can see that even if there is any shutdown hook registered with this application context and that shutdown hook also will be removed as part of this close method so that's all this is uh, this is the bean life cycle these are the steps involved as part of the bean life cycle while while the bean gets registered with the spring container so please stay tuned with the channel so that we'll come up with the next part of the spring tutorial and happy learning.